Hey guys, uh, I know you want to learn how to uh, do this thing, so uh, yeah, let me uh, get it started for you. I've opened Blender, and uh, I have picked out a, uh, a uh, very simple, uh, fairly simple sculpty that I want to texture. First thing I'm gonna do, you see I have this all black. You go into edit mode to go image new. You pick out your height. I have a 1024 by 1024. But you can change that height easily just by clicking right there and hit OK to put in any new height. Alright, now, right now that you're in edit mode, you're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the view that you want. See, this one is the front view. So I'm gonna hit new under UV texture right here. And uh, I'm going to hit U for unwrap, and I'm going to project from view. And bring it up over here. I'm going to hit A. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. Oh, I'm going to turn off my orthographic. And scale it up evenly. Right, you can uh, hit S for scale, Y, G for grab, all that fun stuff. I'm going to go to my side view. And uh, I'm going to hit new again under UV texture. I'm going to do the same thing. U, project from view, select all with hit and A, and scale this baby up. Just so it uh, fits what I'm doing. Alright, and then I'm going to go to the top view right here. I'm going to hit new again. I'm going to hit U, project from view. And it's fairly simple because I want to make sure all my distortions are gone. Alright, now, on the top view, I'm wanting a, uh, a specific texture, right? So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and find it. And this one is going to be my snow with sticks. And you see what happens over here? It goes right onto it. Now, and I click here over here and that sets the active UV texture and when I change it it changes right so I'm going to change this to top this one right here is going to be my side if I can type this one right here is going to be my front alright my side view I want a rock so I'm going to open again I'm going to find that rock, wherever it is. Rock, TJ. Oh, you gotta be in edit mode to do this, sorry. Image, open. Go back into that. Find my rock. There we go. Now see, you see a lot of distortion up here. But that side view is an absolutely fantastic. Alright, now I'm going to do the same thing with the front. Image, open. Get my rock again. Alright, and again, that image on the top is distorted. Because it's just projecting right into the front. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into texture paint mode. When I do that, all this stuff pops up, right? When you're in regular object mode, it goes away. You have two extra buttons when you go into texture paint mode. Alright. First off, I'm going to go back into edit mode for a second. Make sure this is the texture that I'm using, which it is. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to go right here. It says set la the layer used for texture paint cloning. You're going to click that for the front, right? I'm going to go into the front view, and I'm going to click clone right here. And this isn't usually clicked. You're going to click clone layer. And now, make sure your opacity is way up. I uh, up my size right here. Make it easy to paint. And you just paint. Yeah, click it, and you go. Now, when you're doing this, you're going to have to rotate a little bit here and there, and that's fine. That's what happens. 
on the edges. The edges only uh, paint. And it'll put everything back in, including the distortions. You're saying, well, that's cool, but how do I get rid of those distortions? How do I get it, how it looks on the side? Well, what you do is basically you go to the side view. You click this little button right here. It sets a layer for texture paint cloning. Your clone is already set. Your clone layer is set. Your opacity is set. And you just paint right over top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right guys? Yeah. Alright, and that already puts in all of your distortions. Everything you could want. Alright. And then we're going to go to the top. And see how this is. We're going to hit 7. Go to the top view. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't switch over to top view. There we go. And we're going to paint right on top of this baby. Alright. You make a mistake. Let's say you did that. Control Z and does it. And uh, yeah. Simple, easy, fun. Um, yeah. Pretty, pretty nice. Now from this point you're going to go ahead and take it to Photoshop. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, you see these black triangles right here, that's where the paintbrush can't get through because it's, uh, it's a pole, so it's kind of hard to uh, paint all those little things. So you're just going to take it right into Photoshop and fill those in. Uh, if you wanted to paint back here, you could. You can do whatever you want. So, uh, yep. Uh, easy. And uh, to finish it up, you're going to go Image. Now that it's uh, all painted, you're going to go Save As and save it. Alright? Alright, you guys have fun.